Hey you guys, today I thought I would do a video that's a little bit different in nature than what I usually do. Uh, most of my videos are gameplays, guides, and, and character upgrades and things like that about my own tune. Uh, but my own tune is a cash tune by all means, and I very much so understand that I'm a very lucky person and a very privileged person to have a disposable income that can be put towards entertainment and gaming and things like that. I also understand that a huge part of the fact that I've built up a following is the fact that I am a very, I have a very strong player or or hero and that I can compete with the top players and people like to see that type of stuff. I also hope that some of my content is appreciated because I put a lot of time into thinking about the game and hopefully, you know, sharing ideas and and, you know, being open source about advice and and tricks and things like that for the game. But uh, I think there's a lot to learn from really, really strong free players, and so I wanted to talk about my favorite one, which is maybe an archer in my guild who's uh, up to 3.25 million BR. And for a free player, I honestly think that she might be one of the best, if not the best, in all of English Wartoon. Um, you know, I haven't seen anybody produce a screenshot of a player who is completely zero cash, never put a penny into the game, um, that is stronger than May at... at, at this current time um, and so she does have this little wedding ring by somebody you know who who bought it for um, the two of them but has never personally recharged the tune whatsoever and, uh, and so actually that ring doesn't help her much at all it gives her a little bit of stats but it really is almost completely irrelevant uh, but uh, but yeah, so I think there are some things that we can learn from May, and so I want to just just talk about her tune a little bit. I also have Midori over here, who's uh, who's <laughs> co who is also owned by the same player, so we affectionately call them Midobi, um, Midori, and maybe, and uh, and I thought I would put that into perspective so that we can see sort of the difference between, um, you know, what a, you know, two tunes that um, have had the same amount of time put into them, uh, but different amounts of money. Uh, low cash, which is Midori, uh, low cash and VIP from, from Midori, and then May, who's completely a free player. Um, so, well, should we go over the tune first, or go over things like how long has she played? Well, how, why don't we just look at the tune first, and, and overview. And so, since they have the same owner, uh, they tend to have similar priorities as far as how they've been built, and uh, and so that's good to know. But I generally agree with a lot of the decisions that uh, Madobi has made. And so the first thing for free players we can note is that she definitely goes after attack. And attack is the most important stat, followed by the defenses. And defenses give a nice chunk of BR, so I think that's why we can see on both of them that they... Oh, okay, so Midori's not quite done with... She's done more on, on the helm, and I don't think May has. Oh, May doesn't have any uh, Holy Forge on the helm, so it may push the the armor more, and then Midori split it between the armor and the helm. But uh, but anyway, and so the main uh, uh, stat that she goes after is attack, and then followed by some defense, and then after that, finally, HP. And people are like hp crazy lately and it drives me absolutely nuts it's just it i find it mildly infuriating and i partly blame it on the game on the game on war tune because they've put so much battle rating into you know hp you gain some hp and your battle rating skyrockets and it's totally bizarre to me and uh, and very frustrating because hp is just not that important of a stat that you should you know sacrifice things like attack um and and you know some defense in favor of HP is okay, but not, you know, so much that it's totally, you know, like, that your defense becomes irrelevant. Uh, your defense does play play a role with your, your resistances. So if you don't have good defense, then your resistances aren't as potent um, either. And, uh... And so yeah, um, so so people go after HP too much, and you can see that the least attention goes into these rings. And so um, you know these cost more materials, but I think that she'll end up going after these two um, very very soon. I think this is a new addition. I'm not sure how soon she she's had that that legendary artifact, but uh, but yeah. So rings absolutely smallest priority on the list um if you do want some hp then i would go after the brooch or after the artifact i think those are 
colors are better considering materials and gold cost and everything like that definitely the brooch so the whole left side of the gear is is more important as far as br goes obviously people want the attack from the jewelry so those tend to be a big priority as well but the left side of of the gear um actually gives considerably more br and then these rings are just the last thing on earth that you need and uh and what else so go over defenses and everything like that everything else is pretty balanced pretty standard amount of crit for an archer maybe a little bit lower than than you know some archers like to keep but not a huge deal influence she definitely hasn't committed a lot of um event chest into influence yet and i think that's probably a conscious choice she's probably trying for more mounts and things like that uh which are incredibly important to free players and so it's hard to to make that jump to to get the influence it's probably really frustrating getting stunned and everything in in pvp stuff but uh but i think that's a pretty normal choice for for her it looks like mid has found an opportunity to to push some some chests into getting uh more beads of influence but uh it doesn't look like she's she's made that leap on on May. As far as battle protection, that's a huge deal. And so this is one of the differences that we can highlight between a low cash player and a free player is that May doesn't have this sixth shield open and Midori has. If you are, you know, wanting to invest a little bit of cash, definitely for a, you know, class advanced player, this sixth slot is a huge deal. It's you know very very helpful it's gonna help you diversify your resistances especially once things get more difficult and you know we have more merge silks that you need to protect against and whatever um this six slot a really really big deal so that's a huge deficit for may um as far as resistances and the place where she does really well are her will crystals for a free player um, and somebody, so Midori has slightly better ones. She has all eight, and then May has two eights and a seven. And I'm sure she's going to get another eight pretty soon. And um, and so Midori might be able to put a few bound balins into maybe grabbing some will crystals in Wild Shop. But I think the vast majority of these are actually just from dimensions, 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 and uh, and getting huge uh, will crystal incomes daily from from that. And uh, and so. I mean, May is sort of my bar for everybody. If you're a big cash player and your will crystals are worse than May's, I think you have your priorities completely wrong. And that's just flat out. It's just a poor choice on a lot of these players' parts. And uh, there are a lot of people, there are people with red Odins that have worse will crystals than maybe does. And um, and these are people who could easily put some will crystals, I mean, not will crystals, put some uh, bound balins into going into wild shop and just getting some will crystals to improve their reduce res and so yeah so pe somebody with an odin or or a frigga and they don't they don't have good will crystals it's almost a complete waste of that sylph because it's so easy to protect against them and you know if people even have any resistance uh, a big player without a merge sylph is going to to come out on top because um stats aren't going to be able to 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 overcome the fact that their reduce res is horrid um so yeah so she does a great job with dimensions building up an income uh for her her will crystals saving them up for events and so yeah so she has lots of 11s here i'm sure she has a full set of 11s these are just extras um and then um over here on midori you know she has full level 11s as well and so yeah so resistance is a huge deal and has good priorities and if you think that resistances are only for pvp stuff like oh i need to you know reduce somebody's resistance against me uh you're completely wrong and you know will uh, particularly will crystals so normal resistances in pv are only relevant for things like sky trail where you need to protect against a certain element but things like world boss your will crystals are huge you get so much more income if you have a really good reduce res it ups your income a lot it's the same as you know upping your your attack stat basically is uh, increasing the amount of damage that you're going to deal and so that's a huge huge deal and people <laughs> really need to to understand that and i hope that that this illustrates it. May actually almost always has one of the top incomes at World Boss, and so she does a very good job there. Uh, so, you know, Midobi, between the two of them, two tunes and one player, uh, honestly, the best dual boxer, uh, you know, playing two tunes uh, of anybody I've seen. She can double hit on two tunes at the same time, which is totally bizarre to me, not something that I can pull off. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, just a really, really great player. And, uh, and so, so yeah, just, <laughs> if 
peek at this. Uh, what else can we learn from from uh, May? I think just comparing the two, I think this emphasizes that VIP is not actually as important as we would think. Um, Balins, on the other hand, are actually quite important. There are things that you just cannot get with bound balance and uh, and so certain things where caching just really helps. I think VIP definitely is just a convenience thing. It speeds things up a little bit, but as far as long-term gain from VIP, it's actually very minimal. A lot of the VIP gains are either things like special little packs with things that aren't a huge deal. Some might up your gold income a little bit from, you know, VIP tokens and whatever, but um but it's mostly like things like an XP bonus or um or you know not losing honor and bg and things like that but it's not something that affects your battle rating in the long run very much so midori has had vip for two and a half years and the gap you know I, this gap is not from from a vip bonus put it that way uh the fact that she has 150k more br than than maybe is not because of of the vip it's probably because of balance here and there uh, being able to get maybe a few more mounts or something like that um, a better, better ring, and of course the the resistance crystal here is is quite important. But uh, but I don't feel like the the gap between these two tunes is is that important as far as VIP goes. So when people are thinking about oh you know I don't have a lot of money to invest in War Tune, what are my priorities if I only have a few bucks? I would definitely say you know a recharge here and there for Balance is actually more important than putting eight bucks into VIP each month. Um, and I think a little bit of frustration in, in Battleground and being careful in Battleground and not losing as much honor there, or just waiting until you build up a stronger tune and worrying about honor later on, or at least big honor, um, is maybe a strategy you can take. It's, of course, a lot, very, very difficult on a budget, but uh, but those are things that, that you can work out. So I would definitely say Balin's over VIP, and uh, I think these two tunes reflect that. Of course, Midori probably didn't know that at the time. She still keeps VIP, so it still seems like a convenience for her. Uh, personally, I would actually rather have Spirit Covenant over over VIP. Spirit Covenant is more expensive, but um, to me, it's a much bigger convenience than, than VIP is. And when I think about it in the future, I'm like, oh, I don't want to lose that Spirit Covenant, but but I VIP is sort of whatever. Um, so again, think, uh, well, okay, VIP, you get the extra dimension slots. Okay, that's a really big deal. I forgot about that one. Okay, so resistance-wise, maybe that's why uh, May's will crystals aren't as good, is because she, she, at most, can get, like, three dimension slots, I think, if she uses, like, the one-hour VIP P cards. Um, and then uh, Midori can get probably five of them, because she's VIP nine. Okay, but that's, I mean, that's the brunt of it, and... Um, and as far as, you know, how much time and things she's put into into the tune, so both of them are a little over two and a half years old, and so we're talking about a tune that's been around for a really long time. So a free player that's like all of a sudden, oh, I want to be the most competitive person, or, you know, I want to be able to play with the top people and be a free player, that's not realistic. Um, and uh, and so she's been able to, to keep up at the top. You know, you've seen Midori in lots of my videos. This is a low-budget tune. Not a lot of... Of, of money into it really so um so absolutely you can compete with some of the top people it's not like you're going to be trolling everybody you know and be able to go to warlords hall uh, warlords hall requires a lot of that fluffy br from from kids and sylphs and stuff like that high br things uh that not necessarily the most powerful stuff but um but you need a lot of that stuff to have enough BR for Warlords Hall. But absolutely, both of these tunes, and again, you know, May completely free, uh, she gets into into um, Class Wars Finals every month these days. You know, for a while it was a little bit more difficult, she didn't always get in. But now, especially after some of the servers left and whatever, every both... Every single month, they're they're in class wars, and so she gets a nice little boost from from that. There are little things that she can get using those those glory crystals, and so that's a very big deal. Okay, so she's been playing a long time. That's a huge part of it, and uh, and the other um, part is that she has a very strong team. So of course, two tunes that play regularly, they're building up two strong characters and then she also runs regularly with robin seven who's one of the top archers on on my server and so by having a regular team with a very very strong player she's never had to worry about um 
dungeon difficulty too much um you know sometimes when there's a new thing maybe she can't do it but overall can pretty much finish everything and uh and so things like being able to do tok nightmare are a really big deal she's never had to really worry about insi insignias and things like that she has high income for that stuff uh soul crystals and whatever and so that's very very nice for a free player and so that sort of shows how it's helpful for um cash players and free players to have a nice bond i think cash players should look to very active very committed free players regularly in their team one because their cash goes a lot farther by helping a free player a player out and also a really active tune is more useful i think than necess than somebody who's um less reliable but cash is more and so having somebody who you can always rely on go to hey let's punch it out today that's very very helpful and uh and so and and by all means madobi is that um, and the last most important thing, absolutely the biggest part of why this tune has so much success, is how much time she puts into it each day. And for all the criticism for, you know, War Tune, it's completely leg legitimate to say it's ridiculous how much time this, this ga game takes. At the same time, I don't think you should diss a player who has made a commitment to it and, and who has had so much success and, um, and the other huge part is that she's never had a long period where she's quit. You know, she goes on vacation for a couple of weeks, sure, but uh, but she's never gone, you know, months on end without without playing. Um, and so so that's a, a huge difference um, compared to some players. You know, sometimes they'll, they'll stop for a while. Um, you know, been playing a long time. I don't blame them. But at least for these students, they haven't had you know long long breaks away from the game that put them behind. Um, but yeah, and so I just. Think this is awesome i think may is is really if you were putting me on the spot of course i love my own tune but that's you know a, a, a narcissistic sort of bias uh that i like my own character but if you put me on the spot i think you know may is, is very easily within the top three players my favorite in war tune and for sure one of my absolute favorite free players and uh and just has been an awesome success and i think something that we should celebrate. Everybody is getting this solemn angel thing. Everybody, nobody likes the current event chest, and so everybody is just exchanging for it, and I find it really funny. I don't know how many solemn angel titles I've seen today, but finally everybody has enough free chests to get it. So anyway, that's sort of funny, but... Um, but yeah, and so, so yeah, looking at her priorities, understanding the things that she does, um, another huge part, I mean, I think... Having the strong team and putting lots of time and, and having played for a long time, those are harder things for, for people to always have. But one thing that she always does is make smart decisions. So things like, what does she prioritize? Having, you know, prioritizing attack, um, you know, learning strong gameplay, so always double hitting, having huge war boss income. Between the two of them, you know, <laughs> easily the best... Uh, uh, gold incomes in on my server because she plays so regularly. I think she has um, I, I think I might be myself and Robin might be the only people who have comparable gold income to these two tunes uh, and Depending on the day. I think she she's actually doing better um, and then uh, another huge part is how good she is about saving for certain events. So I think she's very ca careful with her bound balance. Uh, Cosmos has showed that in some videos that he's very careful about his bound balance. I wouldn't say she as careful as Cosmos. Cosmos is is uh, a hoarder like no none other. But uh, but but May definitely you know for for both these tunes, um, very carefully choosing when to do events absolutely no using stuff outside of events there's no there's no pvp event where you're like oh i need to gain like you know 1k more br for this pvp event so i'm just not so i'm going to use this material before an event no that just doesn't happen and no free player in particular should do that and i don't think any cash players should either um for cash players hoarding and saving materials for events on top of their caching is twofold so like you know yeah, sure, you're a cashier and you can you can use your stuff early and it's not going to be a huge consequence, but why not, like, double your income by <laughs> by using a, an event on all of the awesome stuff that you have from caching? So, anyway, that's very, very important. Those are super basic things that every player needs to do uh, for Wartoon. It's absolutely a patience game, waiting for good events and, and collecting materials until you can use those at those events. And, uh, and so really the place where, where this tune is suffering is probably mount stuff. I don't know if I can see our mount strength. This mount strength is not my mount strength. That's wrong. 
that's mine's like over 40k but anyway this mountain strength is pretty tough and then Midori so she's at 21 300 Midori's actually wait oh this is confusing but uh, seven t is is that that doesn't look right why would Midori have so much strength on her mount? Okay, there's something inaccurate about about whatever mount is being shown. But I know Mei is suffering on the mount end of things more than Midori. Uh, probably because Midori has a little bit of money into the game. And uh, and so yeah, that's just what I wanted to show. Um, so really just my favorite free player. Um, do you guys have any free players that you guys want to celebrate? Or strategies for free players that you think are good? Please go ahead and comment and talk about it. Um, I would love for everybody to be super open source about information and stuff. I think that's the best way to go, especially for games like this. Um, and so, um, so yeah, that's definitely what I encourage. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about maybe or Midori or, you know, either one of these tunes or anybody that I play with, um, you can ask about Robin. I, <laughs> I know uh, that she's probably one of the lowest budget top archers. And so, so that maybe is a tune if you guys are interested in, um, getting advice from her or whatever I can talk to her about it and uh, and yeah so if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask take care you guys and have a very good day